The first reading is a reading from the book of Deuteronomy. Moses said to the people, You are a people sacred to God. God has chosen you from all the nations on the face of the earth to be God's people. It was not because you are the largest of all the nations that God's heart is set on you and chose you, for you are really the smallest of all nations. It was because God loved you, and because of God's fidelity to the oath sworn to your ancestors, that God brought you out with a strong hand from the place of slavery, and ransomed you from the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt. Understand, then, that your God is God indeed, the faithful God who keeps this merciful covenant down to the thousandth generation toward those who love God and keep God's commandments but who repays with destruction a person who hates God. God does not dally with such a one, but makes them personally pay for it. You shall therefore carefully observe the commandments, the statutes, and the decrees that I enjoin on you today. The Word of God.
A reading from 1st John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, the love of God was revealed to us. God sent his only son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love, not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God. Yet, if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. This is how we know that we remain in him and he in us, that he has given us of his spirit. Moreover, we have seen and testify that the Father sent his Son as Savior of the world. Whoever acknowledges that Jesus is the Son of God, God remains in him and he in God. We have come to know and to believe in the love God has for us. God is love, and whoever remains in love remains in God, and God in him. The Word of God. Labor 
and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart. And you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of our Savior, Jesus Christ. of all and for all in peace let us pray to our god gracious god hear our prayer for peace from on high for the salvation of our souls and for the fulfillment of all creation let us pray to our god gracious god hear our prayer for good weather for an abundance of the fruits of the earth for the protection of our homes the safety of our neighborhoods, a clean and healthy environment, and for the transformation of Camden. Let us pray to our God. Gracious God, hear our prayer. For our civil authorities, the mayor of this city, the governor of New Jersey, the president of the United States, and for all world leaders, let us pray to our God. Gracious God, hear our prayer. For our Pope Francis, our Bishop Dennis, our pastors Michael and Gerard, and for all the holy servants of God, let us pray to our God. Gracious God, hear our prayer. For those who have done good for us, for our parents, relatives, and friends, and for all who are dear to us, and for all those whose names are recorded in Sacred Heart's Book of Life. Let us pray to our God. Gracious God, hear our prayer. For our parish, that we will be a faithful community of prayer and ministry, drawing many into the embrace of Christ. Let us pray to our God. Gracious God, hear our prayer. For an end to the suffering of our sisters and brothers, especially the children of separated families at our southern borders. Let us pray to our God. Gracious God, hear our prayer. For those afflicted by the COVID-19 virus, for their families, friends, and caregivers, and for those who have died from the coronavirus epidemic, let us pray to our God. Gracious God, hear our prayer. For an end to the subtle racism of economic oppression, which permeates our society's structures and resides in many hearts. Let us pray to our God. Gracious God, hear our prayer. For all fathers, stepfathers, grandfathers, godfathers, uncles, and all father figures, those living and those who have gone before us, let us pray to our God. Gracious God, hear our prayer. For our Sacred Heart Parish, on our feast today, for all who work, volunteer, and worship in our three churches, Sacred Heart, St. Bartholomew, and Joan of Arc, and for Sacred Heart School, teachers, staff, students, and sponsors, let us pray to our God. Gracious God, hear our prayer. 
for the poor, the hungry, for the homeless and imprisoned, for exiles and refugees, for the aged, the lonely and the bereaved, and for all those who are in need. Let us pray to our God. Gracious God, hear our prayer. For the sick, for Irene Gavin, Walter Zavatoski, Agnes Doherty, Kathy Hainsworth, Colleen Callahan Paventa, Jack Dever, Patty Capri, Michael Griffin, Kevin Downey, Dave Davis III, Justin Lorenzi, Anna Whitman, Pam Lorenzi, Kenny Jube, Carolyn Telesmanish, and for all those who suffer in any way, let us pray to our God. Gracious God, hear our prayer. For those who have departed from this life, for Vincent Abate, Tom Murtha, Joe Gavin, Jean Barber, Muriel Prickett, George Floyd, and Rayshard Brooks, and for all who lie asleep in the Lord, let us pray to our God. Gracious God, hear our prayer. For all the people of this parish, both living and dead, especially those who were baptized or married here, and for those who were buried from this holy church, and for all present here this day, let us pray to our God. Gracious God, hear our prayer. Remembering the Holy Mother of God, Saints Thomas More, John the Baptist, Cyril of Alexandria, and Servant of God, Athea Bowman, and all the saints, we offer to you, O God, our whole lives, on behalf of all and for all. To you, O God. Let us pray together as Jesus taught us. Our
Sacred Heart, Camden, New Jersey, in the year 2020. Since 1856, the Feast of the Sacred Heart is celebrated. 19 days after Pentecost, always on Friday. In a small thatched house in Rostov, County Lanford, where I and my two brothers and three sisters, one sister, the first Anna May, died at birth, were born between 1933 and 1942 Nine blessed years Our little kitchen had an open fire on the hearth I learned that the Latin word for hearth is focus, and indeed it was a focus. Another focus was 
the daughter, as we small children called it, we couldn't say the altar, so we reshaped it as daughter. It had a rounded shelf and two little wooden crosses all on the wall in the kitchen. Best of all, it had a little oil lamp with a little red globe. As we grew up a bit, my sister Anna May or I would refill the lamp with paraffin oil and relight it. At night, with no electricity, the little red lamp gave us a comfortable, tender feeling. Leaning on the altar was a fairly large picture of the Sacred Heart. Painted on the picture were soft rays on which were written promises of the Sacred Heart to heal and save us. That picture is still hanging in our kitchen. As a child, I was fearful when I looked at the picture of the Sacred Heart. I felt that the Sacred Heart was keeping an eye on me. But I learned from my mother and father that they loved the Sacred Heart. And so I loved the Sacred Heart too. And now I am at Sacred Heart Parish in Camden, New Jersey, and have been here for the past 46 years. And I thank God for directing me here. I love being here. And now I will read the promises that came from St. Margaret Mary Alaco. She heard them in her apparitions. Jesus promised these blessings to those who practice devotion to his sacred heart. One. I will give them all the graces necessary for their state of life. Two. I will give them peace in their families. 
3, I will console them in all their troubles. 4, I will be their refuge in life and especially in death. Five, I will abundantly bless all their undertakings. Six, sinners shall find in my heart the source and infinite ocean of mercy. Seven, tepid souls shall become fervent. Eight, fervent souls shall rise speedily to great perfection. Nine, I will bless those places wherein the image of my sacred heart shall be exposed. Ten, I will give to priests the power to touch the most hardened hearts. Eleven, persons who propagate this devotion shall have their names eternally written in my heart. Almighty God, we praise you for all that you have done. Help us with all that you want us to do. Come, Holy Creator, and rebuild the city of Camden so that we do not labor in vain without you. Come, Holy Savior, and heal all that is broken in our lives and in our streets. Come, Holy Spirit, and inspire us with energy and willingness to rebuild Camden City to your honor and glory. Amen. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May he look upon you with kindness and give you his peace. May Almighty God always bless us, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit.